Kia ora whanau, kei te pehi a koutou. Uh, hope you're all well and safe in your bubbles. Um, today I'm going to be doing some reading for you. Now, this is the name of the book here. It's called Bad Dog Flash by Ruth Poor. Uh, senior students don't be put off by the fact that this looks like a book written for younger children. Um, it may appear that way, but I have you covered. I've got, this is not just a book reading session, but also a te reo Māori lesson. Um, so I have the translation of the book in te reo Māori, he kuri kino koe flash. Um, plus I've got a whole heap of vocabulary um, and lots of stuff to keep you guys interested as well. So I'm going to just begin by reading the book in English. And I'll try and hold this up so that you can see all of the lovely illustrations as well. Bad Dog Flash. Still Cat. Dull Cat. Fast Cat. Fun Cat. Run Cat. Bad Dog Flash. Push stick, poke stick, chew stick, chuck stick, stuck stick, bad dog flash, nice bone, good bone, my bone, hide bone. Hmm, where's my bone? Bad dog flash. Sniff shoes. Lick shoes. More shoes. More shoes. Uh-oh. Your shoes. Bad dog flash. Swing, drip, slap, drip, slop, slip, flap, flip. Rip. Bad dog flash. No dog, out dog, down dog, bad dog. Sad dog. Come here, Flash. Warm place, safe place, our place, kind face. Lick face. Yuck. Good dog, Flash. All right, tamari kima. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to read the book in full te reo Māori. So the translation of the book is he kuri kino koe Flash. Uh, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to read the whole book first in te reo Māori. Um, and then I will go part by part so that we can learn some new vocabulary um, and do some te reo learning as well as reading a wonderful book. So this book here is called He Kuri Kino Queer Flash. He ngeru nohohu, he ngeru makaku, he ngeru kakama, he ngeru hianga. E oma e ngeru, he kuri kino koe flash. Ka pana i te rākau, ka wero i te rākau, ka ngaungau i te rākau, ka fiu i te rākau. Ka mau te rākau, he kuri kino koe flash. He rawe te fiwa, he pai te fiwa, 
naku te fiua. Kahuna e te fiua. Kei hea taku fiua. He kuri kino koe flash. Ka hongi i ngā hū. Ka mitimiti i ngā hū. Ka ngau i ngā hū. Me wetahi atu hū. O we, no ngā hū nei. He kuri kino koe flash. Ka koeri. Ka turuturu. Ka pāpaki, ka turuturu, ka karapu, ka mānianea, ka tāreparepa, ka porotēteke, ka tīhai, he kuri kino koe flash, ka oe kuri. Puta atu ki waho, e heke ki raro, he kuri kino koe flash. He kuri pauri. Hare mai flash. He wahi mahana, he wahi whakamarumaru, koto tawa wahi. He kānohi atawhai. Ka mitimiti kānohi. Ka kino hoki. He kuri pai koe, Flash. All right, Fano. Now we're going to take a look at some of the kupu, the words or the vocabulary. Um, that you may have picked up in the te reo version of the book. Um, so I'm just going to take you through some of the pronunciation um, of the words in the first section, um, which is where the dog is chasing the cat. So hopefully you can see this clearly on your screen. Um, I'm going to say the word in Māori, give the English tra uh, translation, and then say it in Māori again. And it would be great if you could say it along with me. So, kuri is dog, kuri, ngeru is cat, ngeru, noho means sit, noho, just like if a teacher says enoho, that means for you to sit down. Makaku means to be inactive or still or not doing anything, makuku. Kakama means quick. Kakama. Uh, you may know other words that mean fast or quick. For example, uh, tere is another word. So often in tere or Māori there are more than one words, uh, sorry, more than one word that can uh, mean the same thing, just like there is in English as well. Uh, hianga means to play. Oma means to run. Perhaps you know the Waiata Omarapiti. So Oma is run, Oma. Uh, and then the last one that we're going to look at just now is the one at the bottom there. Kino, which you would have heard many times throughout the book. Kino means bad or naughty. Now if I have the book in front of me, just so I can take you through those parts. Just so that you can make a little more sense of the Te Reo Māori version. Uh, so, the book starts off by saying, He ngeru noho hu. So the word ngeru. Can you remember what ngeru means? You'll see it used in a number of sentences on these pages. So here, He ngeru noho hu. He ngeru makuku. He ngeru kakana. So if you have a look at the pictures, often the pictures give good clues as well. Um, you can see that there's lots of pictures of cats, and that's because the word ngeru means cat. 
So hingiru nohohu means a cat is sitting. Okay, hingiru makuku means a cat is staying still. Hingiru kakana means a cat is fast or quick. And then hingiru hyanga means that the cat is being playful. Um, or the dog's enjoying starting to play now that the cat's moving. Moving on to the next page. E oma e ngiru means run cat. Oma means run. And then ngiru means cat. So e oma e ngiru means run cat. And then this phrase here, which is the one that you'll see repeated throughout the book, it's the title of the book. He kuri. Kino kue, Flash. And I usually say it in a bit of an angry voice because translated, that means bad dog, Flash. Okay, the word kuri is the Maori word for dog. So kuri. And then kino, which is the word for bad or naughty. Kue is the fact that this person here is talking to the dog. So kue is what, how you'd, uh, what you'd say if you're talking to one person. Or one animal in this scenario. So here, kuri kino kue flash means bad dog flash. All right, tamariki ma. Moving now on to the section uh, which is about rako. Um, so if you have a look at this sentence structure here, kapana ite rako, kawiro ite rako, kangongo ite rako, kafu ite rako. Then you can see, if you're watching my finger, that rako is the Māori word for stick. It also can mean tree and wood and other things, but in this situation it's referring to the stick uh, that Flash has brought in. So some of the key vocabulary for this part of the story. Pana means to push. Pana. Wero means to poke. Wero. Now, wero also has other meanings. You may know that wero also means to challenge. It's quite a common uh, word that you may have come across before. Uh, ngo ngo is to chew. Few is to throw. And mo is to take. So that, that's the main vocab there that we're going to address in this part of the book. So... If you look at the first, this way that these sentences are structured, kapana iterako, so it's talking about a stick, okay? Te is the word for the, rako is for stick. Uh, so kapana iterako, pana means push, so this one here is push the stick. Kawero iterako, remember wero means to poke the stick. Ka ngongo iterako, okay, ngongo is chewing, okay, continuous chewing on the stick, so ka ngongo itirako, which is something that uh, kuri do all the time, and then ka fiu itirako, okay, and fiu is the throw, so if you think of fiu, the, the action of the wind brushing past, fiu itirako um, is a way that you can remember that fiu means to throw the stick. And then good old Flash gets himself into a bit of strife here, uh, Kamotirako, which is take the stick, and unfortunately Flash took the stick, but he took it into the window and had a bit of an accident. And then we're using that phrase again, he kuri kino kue Flash. Remember, kuri is the Maori word for dog, and kino is the Maori word for bad or naughty. He kuri kino kue Flash. Alrighty, Fano. we're now moving on to the section uh, where Flash has his bone. So I'll read some of the sentences. He rawe te fiua, he pai te fiua, naku te fiua, kahuna i te fiua. As you can see, the Māori word, which I've been pointing to, for bone is fiua. Some of the other key vocabulary for this particular section is we've got this one here, so fewer is bone, fewer, rawe 
is the Māori word for nice. You may have heard teachers say to you before, herawe, if you've done some excellent work or some great work. Uh, pai is the word for good. Pai. And that's another common one that you probably have heard if a teacher said ka pai to you for doing some good work. Or if someone said kei te pihi a koe to you to ask how you are, you may respond by saying kei te pai. Some other vocabulary from that particular section. Uh, Naku, uh, which means my, um, and huna, which means hide. Here means where. So someone might ask you, no hea koe, where are you from? And I think that is just about all for this particular section. You might notice just up here on the top of naku, there's a little dash. That's called a macron. And if you come across a macron in te reo Māori, that just means that you extend that vowel sound. So instead of it being naku, it would be naku. Okay, so it just means that you hold on to that vowel sound to make it a little bit longer. It's called a macron. So going back to the book here. Herawe te fiua, which means nice bone. Rawe meaning nice. Te fiua meaning the bone is nice. Uh, pai te fiua, which means good bone. Naku te fiua, which means my bone. Okay, so that's Flash talking about that bone being his. And kahuna e te fiua means to hide the bone. So huna meaning hide. Ite fiua, which means the bone. This is the part where asked about the where whereabouts. Kei here, which is where. Taku, it's the other word for my. So kei here, taku fiua, where is my bone? And we see Flash is digging up the garden to try and find where it is. And then our phrase that we've used repeatedly throughout the book, Hekuri kinokwe Flash, bad dog Flash. All right, the next section, Tamarikima, is all about shoes. Um, so the Māori word is it's nice and easy to remember this one um, because the Māori word here, being who, rhymes with shoe. Okay, so the translation of shoe into Māori is who. And again, it's got that macron that you can see, which means that it's a long u sound. So who means shoe. Okay. Ka hongi i ngā hū. Ka miti miti i ngā hū. Ka ngau i ngā hū. Me wetahi atu hū. You'll see here also that it's got the word ngā. Uh, ngā hū just means more than one shoe. So that's like saying shoes. Okay, before we looked at te which was the, so if it said te hu, it would be the shoe, but this says nga hu, so it's talking about more than one shoe. Some of the key vocab for this particular part, um, we have got hongi, to sniff, and you will be familiar with the word hongi because it's a traditional Māori greeting as well with the pressing of noses, so hongi is sniff. Uh, lick is miti miti, so miti miti means lick. Ngo means to chew. Ngo, this phrase here, we tahiatu means some others. We tahiatu, and then this one here, who, which means shoe. Uh, this one, no, which means yours. No, and that's all of the vocabulary that we're going to do for this particular section. So going back to the book. Ka hongi i ngā hū, sniff the shoes. Hongi means sniff. Ka miti miti i ngā hū means lick the shoes. Miti miti meaning lick. Ka ngō, ngō means chew. Ka ngō i ngā hū, chew the shoes. Me wetahi atu hū, and remember that wetahi atu means some others okay so talking about other shoes so talking about more than one pair of shoes found or discovered other pairs of shoes as well and this is when flash gets into a bit of trouble oh where no nga hune asking the question are these your shoes 
and obviously they are, and he gets in trouble for it. And there's a phrase again: "Hakuri kino queer flash, bad dog flash." All right, Tino Pai Koto, you're all doing really, really well. Now we're going to move on to the section with the laundry on the clothesline. Um, this is probably some of the more challenging vocabulary in the text. Um, so. All of these words, I won't go into all of them individually, but they all are describing the way that the washing is moving on the line. Um, so we'll just look at some of that key vocabulary. Uh, just over this side, so koiri is sway, koiri. Turu turu is drip, turu turu. Papaki, slap, papaki. For those of you that have done kapahaka, you may recognize the word pāpaki from some of the haka actions that you've done before. Uh, Mānianea is slippery. Mānianea. Tāreparepa, which means hanging. Tāreparepa. And porotēteke. Porotēteke means flip and then the one here where flash gets into trouble tihai which means to rip so looking at this one here again it's just saying all of the ways that the washing is moving ka koiri ka turu turu ka pāpaki Ka turu turu, again dripping. Ka karapu. Ka manianea. Slippery. Ka tareparepa. Ka porotetiki. Okay, talking about them hanging, flipping, flapping, slipping, all of those different things. And in this one here, ka tihai, which tihai means to rip. So flash. Flash's inquisitiveness has got the better of him and he's ripped the washing. And then as a result, we've got this phrase again. Hakuri kino queer flash. Bad dog. Alright, moving on to the next session. Oh, sorry, next section. Uh, some of the key vocabulary here. Uh, all instructional vocabulary. So where the mum and dad are saying things to Flash. Some of the key vocabulary here. Uh, kao e kuri, puta atu ki waho, e heke ki raro. And then our phrase again, he kuri kino koe flash. What those mean. Uh, kao, which is short for kaore, means no. Puta atu means go out. Puta atu. Some of these will be familiar to those in Kapahaka. Waho means out. And raro means down or under. Um, and then this one here. Pori means sad. So hopefully if someone asks you kete pihi akwe, you don't respond by saying kete pori, which would mean that you are sad. So pori means sad. So going back to the book, kao e kuri means no dog. Puta atu ki waho, get out. E heke ki raro, get down. E kuri kino kwe flash, bad dog flash. Ka pai tamarikima. It's at this point in the book uh, that... Flash is starting to feel a little bit sad. He kuri pori means sad dog. Kuri meaning dog, pori meaning sad. Then all of a sudden a happy voice comes and says, Hare mai Flash. And that's coming from the girl or the daughter. So Hare mai, Hare mai means to come or come here. Or to welcome. So welcoming Flash inside. Some of the key vocabulary for this part. So we've got here, haere mai, come here. Wahi, which means place, wahi. 
Mahana, which means warm. Mahana. This one here is quite a long word, but it can be easily broken up into parts. Fakamaru maru, which means safe. Fakamaru maru. Taua, which means us. Kanohi, which is the word for face. You can see that my kanohi is looking a little bit different at the moment um, because we've been in lockdown and I have not had a shave. So kanohi is face. Um, atafai means kind. And then I've got raiko, which is stick, and that's from earlier in the book. Okay, so going back to our book, and this will take us right up into the end. So, hide my flesh, come here, flesh. Flash is feeling a bit happier now after he was podi before, sad before. He wahi mahana. A place is warm, so a warm place. Okay, wahi meaning place, mahana meaning warm. He wahi fakamaru maru. Remember, fakamaru maru, big long word, means safe. So he wahi fakamaru maru means a safe place. Kote Tawa Wahi, which means our place. Okay, so Tawa referring to the two of them. Koto Tawa Wahi. He Kanohi, remember Kanohi is face. He Kanohi Atafai, and that means kind. So that's Flash looking at the girl, looking at his owner, and saying she's got a kind face. His response to that. Going back to earlier in the book, uh, where he was licking the shoes. Ka miti miti, remember miti miti is the word for lick. Ka miti miti kanohi, which means licking the face. And ka kino hoki, which means yuck, that she doesn't really like that. Then Flash somehow manages to give her that look that dogs often do. And then the last part of the book. He kuri pai kwe, flash. So instead of saying he kuri kino kwe, it's changed to he kuri pai kwe. And remember, ka pai means good, kete pai means good. He kuri pai kwe means good dog, flash. All right, Huama, I hope that you had fun um, with your Te Reo Māori lesson and listen to some wonderful books by Ruth Paul. Now these books are available in our school library um, so please go and check these out. These great puka puka, puka puka being the Māori word for book um, in our library. Most important thing with Te Reo Māori is that you guys are prepared to give it a go so kara fewer e hoa mā, uh, give it everything uh, koa e whakamā, don't be shy. Um, it's the best part of learning is making mistakes, and sometimes it's the best way for you to learn. So don't be afraid to to give things a go and and practice your pronunciation. You might have learnt two or three new words today. Um, I'm not expecting you to have learnt the whole book and what everything means, um, but two or three words could be perfect for you. So I'm going to let you go there. Tune in for the next episode of Bilingual Books. Um, until then, Matewa.